what you focus on expands and becomes your reality. Hey, I just got a message from somebody that inspired me to want to remind others out there and also remind myself too that whatever you're thinking about, whatever you focus on, that becomes your reality. That takes up the majority of the space, the RAM space, if you will, of your consciousness. Let me give you some examples. This is something I used to do all the time. Um, back when I was in, look, for the majority of my life up until I was 41 years old, um, I was overweight, I was broke, all this kind of stuff. And when I was broke, what I was always focused on was how broke I was. <laughs> yeah, I wanted money, I wanted a difference, but that didn't occupy the majority of my mind. What occupied the majority of my thoughts was how broke I was and then how much I was gonna have to save to get by. How much I was gonna have to save to get by. If I was driving, I would be, cons I would be constantly thinking, okay, I need to drive a constant, slow speed, don't accelerate too fast because I didn't want to burn that much gasoline. You see, that that's what was constantly filling up my entire mindset. And it left little or no room to find solutions. Instead of thinking, wow, I'm so passionate about helping others or passionate about opening up this business and your mind is just constantly finding solutions, right? It's finding solutions when you step out of the shower and you're like going, oh, and you get that eureka moment. Or you're talking with a friend and they may mention something and, and you make a connection to your business or something that you're creating and it's like, oh yeah, hey, thanks a minute. Hey, hey, hey can I call you right back? I gotta write this down. You see the difference there? The difference is enormous on that. And so if you're out there and you're constantly worried about things, you're constantly worried about money or you're constantly thinking about, geez, I need to lose weight. You might say I need to lose weight, um, and I'm, but your majority of thoughts are gonna be, I'm, I, I'm looking at yourself in the mirror going, geez, I'm fat, I don't like the way I look, all this kind of stuff. And that just expands that, that expands that and you end up just staying in the same spot. Versus finding solutions and getting exciting, getting excited about the process. Let me show you an example of this, I'll see if I can do this in the bright sun, because it's actually really bright out here, look at this. Oh, Barcelona. See if we can take a look at this. I'm going to show you this. This just came in right here. This is someone right here. It just, it just, just came in today, on the 23rd, and uh, he just made his first 900 bucks online, and that's awesome, right? And he couldn't have done that, right? Could not have done that if he's focused on how broke he is and how much work he has to do and how much he doesn't know and all that kind of stuff. Then that just takes over. So. Moral of the story, I've beaten it to death by this point, right? Focus. Whatever you focus on expands, becomes your reality. The, if you look in the mirror right now of who you are, you create, your mindset created that. Created that. If you look around the house you live in, your bank account, the friends you have, the quality of life that you have, you created all of that right to this moment. You've got to take full 100% responsibility and your mindset of what you're constantly thinking. I'm poor, I'm fat, I don't like myself, blah, blah, blah. All this kind of stuff. That's what created it because it took up the majority of your mindset. So, I don't have any special tricks or whatever to this. I don't think there is. I think it's just a matter of you just go and you do it, man. You just, okay, I'm aware of it, I'm tired of it, bam. I'm doing it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna focus on things I can't control. Okay. I'm gonna focus on solutions. I'm gonna turn into a solution finder. I'm gonna find the solutions. Okay. All right. I'm overweight. I don't like it. How today? Instead of saying I'm overweight, I'm fat, or whatever. What am I going to do today? What specifically can I do today? See, I want to do something that's way too vague. What specifically can I do today? And you become a problem solver. And now your brain shifts into basically a complainer, a poor me, into a, a constant, never-ending problem solver. Your mind is so powerful, it's created everything that is around you right now. Why not use it to create exactly what you want?